Welcome to the Hot Toys True Light review on the Wonder Woman figure from Batman vs Superman. I've just got her in today. She's only been with me about an hour and a half now. And I'm still trying to get to grips with this thing. There's uh, been some recent posts on Facebook with a guy who had a major problem. He put her in the defensive pose with the crossed arms with the gauntlets protecting her. And he apparently left it like that for 30 minutes. And when he went to put the arms back to normal again, there were some major creases here. Uh, which may or may not be permanent. Sometimes these things can gradually work themselves back. One of my little issues is you can see right on her neck there where the plastic was protecting her while she was in the box. It's left behind this kind of line where you can see some kind of separation there. But it's it depends where you're looking at it from. But I can live with that. But this figure, I think a few of you guys were like seven out of ten people are going to have something you know like either just a tiny little thing like that on her neck which is just like there's a bit of shine and then it suddenly stops kind of thing um to uh maybe marks on this kind of skin on this body it's, it's kind of like a visine body but a bit tougher like the skin let me just i haven't really touched this much yeah it's it's kind of like visin but different it feels tougher i don't know what the material was called i'm really not that up to speed with it i gotta be honest with you but it's similar but it feels like new territory i mean this is new territory for hot toys um but it's i think it's going to take a couple of goes before they really nail this saying that it's a wonderful looking piece but i'm glad i've seen that post on facebook regarding the issue with the um crossing the arms pose and what it can do to this figure um I mean, have I got a little mark there as well? Is that a little... Let me just zoom in. Just there. Yeah, it's all right. Could always be a little scar or something. But like I say, because of the way this body is, and you'll know what I mean when you hold it yourself, don't rub your fingers on it for any reason, and um, be aware that there is actually a seam going down her arm. And I think down her thigh, and the whole leg as well. You see that seam there going all the way down? That's a bit unsightly. Um, is it on the leg? Yeah, I've seen it in the uh, blogger pictures. It's there as well. And yeah, things to be wary of, man. I mean, give me today. I'll get the review shot tomorrow and uploaded by hopefully midnight tomorrow night because uh, it will be a long one and it's going to be 4K, so it's going to take ages to bloody upload onto YouTube, but it'll be worth it hopefully. Um, but I definitely need to spend a little time with her and learn a few things because I've just got a feeling I've only scratched the surface really. And just got to turn to the side. And there is a gross bug on my finger. Where is it? Uh, get off. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I love the detail in her outfit. And the shield. And I'm sitting in the shade here. I didn't want to drown her out in sunlight because that would just, uh, you know, wash out a lot of the detail for you. But yeah, there's the hair kind of surrounding the face a little bit. That changes the look slightly. Uh, but just for ease and less stress messing with the hair, you can always just put it over her shoulders like that and then you don't have to mess with it so much. There's the lasso of truth. I don't think I'm going to be ever unraveling that because I just can't be doing with it. Uh, the back of the outfit, lovely detail. This strap isn't too hard to put on, just follow the instructions in the box. And there's that uh, ankle joint. But you, uh, you'll rarely see that, to be honest. Nice detail on her boots. And then here, have a look. Very, very nice. I love the colour. Really vibrant. Which isn't really accurate to how she looked in the film, but that's all just colour grading and desaturation and all that stuff. So, it's probably how it looked on set. But it's nice because it looks like the one from the solo film, but... Probably just repeating myself there from the unboxing. I'll just zoom in on a mush. It looks like Gal Gadot there. Very nice.
All right, well, I've changed up the pose a little bit, but I've got to be honest with you, I really do feel nervous handling this one. And I've been in the game 10 years doing this, and this figure scares me. So I ain't going to be doing anything too drastic with her out here. It's early days, I really need to um, see what the limits are. But that looks really nice, and there's nothing stressing out too much joint-wise. She looks good from pretty much any angle. The legs are a little bit hard to work with, but I'll tell you more about that in the review. Just messing around with the hair again, and move the arms slightly. And that's about all you're going to get out of me just now, guys. I will bring you the review tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this little True Light review on Wonder Woman. But yeah, I've got to uh, see what I can learn about this thing. And I'll be back with you soon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.